about a month away uh, from the start of last season in August, which began, I think, probably the hardest season um, coaches, rowers, families that any of us have, have been a part of. And um, I hope that's a record that's ne never broken. These are things that, um, in your life, your lifetime, um, even as an adult, you, you, it's not easy to handle those things. Um, and as a parent, you feel, um, you, you, you absolutely want to be there for them. Although between the ages of 14 and 18, when they're in high school, you realize, um, although they do need you and you need, they need your guidance, uh, you're not the first person they really want to go to all the time. And that's, you know, and you realize that that's okay. Because what I realized, I think my husband realized, is the people that he needed to be around were his friends, and particularly his teammates. It would have been absolutely, you know, completely fine if people wanted to take time, if people, you know, weren't comfortable, and, and, and absolutely. Um, but for the people that did want to come back and the people that did, you know, want to row and, and, and be here, uh, it was just about, you know, really thinking about uh, and, really, and really putting it to them um, about carrying on a legacy, you know, about, about making sure that people outside of Chicago know their name, they know that why we're doing this, they know why we're down here, they know, you know, who, who we're carrying with us. Um, they may not be here in, in person, but they're here in spirit. Where you have them on the mind and you have that goal and it really crystallizes, it really brings it to the forefront of, of you know, appreciating what we have but uniting in, in, in that bond and uniting in that um, wider family of, of trying to help each other through it in, in whatever, whatever, way that, whatever way that we can. The support that the CRF community has provided to our family during this tragic time has been so phenomenal that, and, and, and frankly, a bit unexpected, the community came together in such a way that you not only helped my family, but you helped the two other families. You helped all the athletes. You brought everyone together from every part of my daughter's life and brought support in so many ways. And my biggest fear after losing Becca has been that no one will remember her. CRF gives me confidence that she will be remembered. Her legacy, everything she learned from CRF will live on in all of her teammates, even those who didn't know her. Thank you for being the support we needed so desperately. Thank you for continuing that support Thank you for honoring Becca. When Jack died, I told, you know, I told his friends, I'm like, you're going to take him with you. You're going to take him with you. You're going to take him with you on the boat. You're going to take him with you to college. And, you know, your victories will be his victories. I think that this has been a hard year for so many people in so many ways. But I look at these truly remarkable young adults and our future is so bright because they are our future and they, are, they, are, they will take us, they will make this okay. They will right the world in the best possible way. So this is just an emblem of that. Jack is in the boat. He is with you. He's in your heart. He's here today. He's probably saying, why didn't I get a boat, you know, that I could get? But he's here. So there's, there's an old Irish blessing that I've always loved. And so I thought that I'd end with that. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall softly upon your fields, and until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Thank you guys. Head of the hooch this fall, um, ended up being a much bigger 
event and, and much bigger result for us uh, than on your typical year. Um, you know, we had, uh, I think we had a group, a group of guys who, you know, were getting faster every year, but hadn't really uh, pushed through and, and gotten a big win yet. And um, we had a group of girls who lost uh, almost the whole crew from the previous year and uh, you know weren't I think we're still kind of figuring out you know how how good we were going to be this year if we were going to be good um, and then you you pile on the emotion of having lost three teammates in the month of August um, starting off our fall season and um, you know it just it just made a, a race that's typically just an end of the season uh, fall regatta turn into something that was uh, we didn't know was going to be one of the biggest results of the rowing year at the time. The, the guys and the girls winning down there was uh, as special a, a special a day um, that I've been a part of, and in, in, especially in rowing. You know, it was. It was one of those funny little things that you know it, it lines up that um, you know it was going to be it was going to be New Hall's birthday. We had an opportunity to race. We hadn't either won that race before, um, and they went out and just and just wouldn't wouldn't be denied. You know, seeing both boats come down the track, you could tell that something was something special was, was brewing. Um, and then crossing the finish line and seeing the results and and you know seeing the smiles and seeing seeing everything, um, it was just truly something that I think everyone should be involved and that that includes you know that includes the athletes that didn't travel that includes the parents that includes chaperones that includes um, you know everyone uh, that's involved with CRF I think should should feel very very proud of because you know that doesn't happen um, with just you know those nine people in the boat and, and, and just you know the coaches that were there it's a it's a whole community working towards a goal and 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 um, having the outcome like that is just it was extremely special and, and something that, you know, I'll never, I'll certainly never forget. You know, I'll certainly never forget kind of walking back to the boat and seeing, seeing the guys and the girls and the parents. And um, it's something, yeah, that, I, that I'll definitely hold kind of near and dear and be very, something very special to me. It was one of the best experience, experiences I've had watching an athletic event. The different teams, um, the boys and the girls team, I think there was a, a lot of mutual, there is a lot of mutual respect for each other. and. Um, that doesn't happen in a short period of time. You know, that's happened over the years and the seasons. Our coach was really good with kind of calibrating us to not let it go to our heads. There was still um, a very kind of long uh, and, and hard uh, road ahead in terms of training for spring because the fall races, they're, they're nice, but they're not really what's important. This year really meant so much to us to to really start from, uh, you know, it felt like we were starting from an abyss and we just had to kind of climb our way out and we had been doing that the whole year. Um, definitely started started at, a, at an all-time low and it felt like we were just about to kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel and it all just kind of came back once COVID came around. You know, a lot of teams, uh, and I don't fault them for it. You know, we're forced to completely shut down and, and end their seasons. Um, you know, we, we remained hopeful for opportunities and we remained determined to be ready uh, if an opportunity arose. Um, that entailed us getting all of our ergs out of the boathouse and to as many of our athletes as we could so that they could continue to train, um, and continue to improve their, their erg scores. Um, albeit isolated at home, but still connected through our daily Zoom calls and, and just monitoring of each other's progress and workouts. It's the, it's the feeling that they never really gave up on the season. They just kept, okay, that race is canceled, but we're looking ahead to this, we're gonna do this. There was never the feeling that, oh, we're closing up shop, season's over, um, we're done. The way that they took up this plan and, and ran with it and, and, you know, seeing everyone on the Zoom calls every day, you know, for, for months, seeing the competitions we got involved with, you know, the March Mania, the, the Global Erg Challenge, 
virtual Midwest, virtual nationals, coming away with, with medals in every single one of those events, um, with both the guys and, and, and the girls' teams, um, speaks to you know how, how special the, the group is. We've had a substantial amount of kids uh, PR on their Eric scores. We've had a substantial amount of kids keep getting faster through all this. You know, you can always, you can make the best plans in the world, uh, but if, if the people aren't there to back it up, if people aren't there to believe it, and if people aren't there to, to execute it, um, it's not going to get you very far. Kind of the big moral of the story here was that every single person kind of, instead of maybe backing away or, or just kind of, you know, sitting down and feel sorry for yourself, we all just kind of use it as motivation um, to, look, to look forward instead of look backwards on it. Um, and without that kind of attitude, none of this would have, would have happened. Life and rowing are not about uh, just doing great when everything's going perfectly for you. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, uh, I mean, you can do things to prepare to kind of sidestep problems, but eventually um, things are going to go wrong, um, and a lot of times they won't be in your control. And how you respond in those situations really defines you as a person and really defines, I think, how well suited you are for moving forward in your life. And, you know, that's. That's always a, a byproduct of what we try to teach through rowing, but I don't think it's ever been more on display than, than this year um, with everyone, coaches, um, board, uh, especially the athletes and the families uh, involved. Um, it's a really kind of humbling, humbling um, experience to go, go through with them. You know, they, uh, as, as high school athletes, you know, they were asked to go above and beyond any, any expectation um, I think is, is you know, fair or, or you even expect. And they answered it uh, resoundingly that, you know, they weren't going to let another roadblock or another setback get them down. You know, they were just going to, you know, form ranks as a, as a unit, form ranks as a community, use each other to get through it and just, you know, keep positive, keep working, keep, you know, looking for the next thing, the next thing to motivate them, the next thing to, to get through, the next kind of milestone. Um, and out, I mean, incredibly tough, incredibly tough thing for, for um, you know, 16, 17, 18 year olds to, to go through and, and, and they did it.